Hello everybody, Sticks here with the Token Minorities, bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO, and today I am bringing you a legacy deck centered around Rayquaza Eels. This was more affectionately known as Ray Eels. And before I get into the deck, just a reminder that if you like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like, drop a comment, and maybe subscribe. It helps us out a lot and lets us do more for you guys. And as for the question of the day, this is not going to be TCG related at all. My question is, what has you most hyped about Sun and Moon? If I had to answer that question, I would probably say that the bringing back of the day and night evolutions, well, the evolution differences based on whether you evolve it at day or night has me most excited because back in, I think, it, well, obviously it was gold and silver when they first introduced that with Eevee. I don't think they've done it since then and nothing comes to mind. I mean, I know with like Tyrant and Amora, you had to evolve them at either during the night or during the day in order to get them to evolve. But it made, but I mean, they only had one evolution. In Sun and Moon, they're talking about, well, there's already one confirmed day night evolution. There might be more by now. Um, but there's even like rumors that the starter is going to have those as well. So I'm super, super excited about that. And let me know what you guys are most excited for in the comments section below and why. I would love to hear that. But anyway, like I said, this deck is centered around Rayquaza EX, and in anybody that has been in the TCG for very long, well, anybody that's been in the TCG for the last couple years, I'm sure you know of this deck. This was a very, very popular deck. Uh, Rayquaza, 170 HP, so I mean, kind of bulky, not that bulky. I mean, it's basically as minimally bulky as an EX can be, apart from like the weird 170s or 110s or even the 90 that is Jirachi. But really, Rayquaza can hit for a ton of damage, and that is with Dragon Burst. 60 times 60 for each fire or lightning energy that you choose to dis uh, discard from Rayquaza. I mean, granted, they have to be attached to it, but that's where the partner in crime comes in. So, I mean, really, we're, with Rayquaza, all you need is three lightning energy to knock out any EX that, granted, can't have an EVO light on it. But, I mean, that's something we can work around. Now, the partner is going to be the Eels, and that is Electric. A lot better than Electros, and I know some people run Electros in this deck. I chose to just kind of stick with the basic line and then just throw in another non-EX att attacker. That way you don't take away a Dynamotor by having to play the Electros down. But, like I said, Electric has the Dynamotor ability. Once during your turn, you may attach a Lightning Energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So... These two have absolutely phenomenal synergy with each other. Just attach the energy to Rayquaza, discard it with Dragon Burst, bring Rush in with Keldeo so that Rayquaza is on the bench, go ahead and Dynamotor that energy right back onto it that you just discarded, rinse and repeat. So once this deck go gets going, it is very, very, very hard to stop. And these two are the main strategy of the deck. I am also running a single copy of Raikou EX for the Volt Bolt attack. Discard all lightning energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Basically, it's a 100 damage sniping attack. And it's great for those Garboder matchups, which would otherwise completely shut down this deck because Dynamotor Dynamotor is obviously an ability, and if Garboder has a tool attached, then, well, guess what? Our Dynamotor is shut down, and we can't do anything, so Raikou is one way of dealing with that. The other way is Tool Scrapper, but I'll get to that in a little bit. But I'm only running one copy of Raikou because you really don't want to be attacking with it unless you have to. Uh, I'm running 4-4 of Tynamo and Electric. I'm running this Tynamo, the Thunder Wave. I know some people like running a mix of, I think it's, is it this Tynamo as well? Yeah, the Charge Beam Tynamo, maybe. But I mean, I know that people like running a mix of Tynamo sometimes, but I, I prefer this one because of the paralysis chance and also the fact that it has 40 HP as opposed to 30. I know that 10 HP doesn't seem like it'd be a big difference, but with things like Night Spear, uh, Megalo Cannon running around, this 10 HP can actually make a huge difference. And then obviously 4 Electric because you want to get as many Dynamotor into play as possible. Now, something in the Legacy format that we have to worry about a little bit is Sigilyph with the Safeguard ability. So, I'm throwing a non-EX attacker, and that is the Zekrom uh, for 
3 energy, 2 lightning, does 120, and this Pokemon does 40 damage to itself, and then also the outrage attack. But basically, you just load up energy onto this guy, bolt strike, knock out the Sigilyph, let it get knocked out, let this guy get knocked out, and then Electric can just put the energy where you want it. So, Zekrom is just our one of non EX attacker. We're also running one Mr. Mime to mitigate the bench damage that Pokemon, that uh, opposing like Darkrai and Genesect, like I said, can do because these Tynamo can get knocked out very, very quickly if you're not able to evolve them immediately into Electric. So that's something we have to watch out for. And it's why we're running a copy of Mr. Mime in this deck. And then I'm running two Keldeo because Keldeo is actually completely integral to the strategy as well because you need to have the Rayquaza on the bench, but unfortunately you can't retreat twice in a single turn. So Keldeo will rush in, put the Rayquaza to the bench so that you can actually Dynamo to it. And then you can just retreat back into the Rayquaza and start attacking again. Now, as for the items running Computer Search, um, in this deck, 100% Computer Search. I mean, in some decks, you can run Dowsing Machine. I mean, that is definitely an option. But in this deck, I would say that you should always run Computer Search over Dowsing Machine just because... I mean, this deck is a little bit clunky just because you're relying on evolutions and it takes a little bit to get going. So Computer Search, being able to search out that one thing that you might need that's the missing piece to the puzzle that you're trying to put together is absolutely necessary so that's why i'm saying you definitely should run computer search in this deck one energy search because i mean while we will be discarding all of the lightning more often than not uh well we should be discarding lightning almost every single time we are running four fire in the deck and those are necessary to be able to dragon burst so i'm throwing an energy search in there to be able to just search through the deck and find that fire energy that you need i'm running four you could run three but i'll I'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah, just one energy search to be able to find that fire energy that you need and put it onto Rayquaza because we have so many other means of getting lightning. The fire energy is usually the piece that you're missing. I'm running four junk arm absolute max number of these because as you can see, I'm not running a max number of any other item card in the entire deck and that is because I have junk arm that I can be like okay well I just max out on junk arms and I basically okay say I need three level ball well with one junk arm I have another level ball I have another Pokemon reversal I have all of my tool cards that I need with junk arm so I just maxed out on junk arm and kind of cut down a little bit on the others that's completely up to you that's just something that I kind of find useful and I like to do I'm running two level ball to start getting Tynamo and Electric out without having to discard anything. Two Pokemon Reversal to act as a catcher. I'm running two because, I mean, with the coin flip, it's only going to work 50% of the time. So with the Law of Averages, throwing two Pokemon Reversals in a deck will give you one Pokemon catcher. Well, at least, well, yeah, at least one catcher, I mean, on average. So that's why I like to run two if I'm going to run them in the deck. Running two random receivers to get supporters back. Well, not get supporters back, but to get a supporter out of the deck if we need it. One super rod to put back like Tynamo or Electric when they get knocked out. And then fire energy if I happen to have to discard them or something like that. And then you can also junk arm for a super rod to throw that stuff back in the deck. So that's kind of a cool synergy right there. One switch just in case you don't have the Keldeo or Floatstone or your opponent happens to have a Garbodor with a tool attached so that you can't rush in. Or if an electric gets Lysander, or not Lysander, Catcher active and you don't have a Keldeo going. Also running one tool scrapper to kind of help with the Garbodor thing. Just play that down, get rid of the tool, immediately get back our abilities. And also this helps get rid of Eviolites or Eviolite, however you want to say it, which can keep Rayquaza from getting a one hit knockout. And then three Ultra Ball, I usually run four, but in this deck I'm running three just because, I mean, there's no Shaman or Jirachi that the Ultra Ball can get out. So, I mean, while it's nice to have, it's not absolutely necessary for the speed. So I'm running three because, of course, Ultra Ball is great, but only three because it's not always 100% necessary. And also, you, I can just Junk Arm for another if I need it. As for the supporters, I'm running a kind of peculiar line. I'm running one chorus because more often than not, we're going to have a full bench. And I mean, if your opponent even has two down, well, that's automatically better than a Professor Oak's new theory. Two N, shuffle things back in our deck. One Pokemon Collector. This is only for a first turn thing. That way you can just 
play the collector down, get down two Tynamo and a Keldeo, or two Tynamo and a Rayquaza, or something to that effect, or like a Mr. Mime. Basically, just gets you set up a lot faster, but you really only want to use that first turn. Two Juniper, only running two, because in this deck, as you can see, there are a lot of pieces that are actually kind of necessary that you don't like to be discarding. Um, because, I mean, if you start off with a bunch of Junk Arms and a couple Electrics, you don't want to just discard all of that. So only running two Juniper. I'm running more Shuffle Supporters just because this deck likes to have all those cards. Speaking of Shuffle Supporters, we have the Professor Oak's new theory right here, which shuffle your hand into your deck, draw six cards, just basically... A more consistent N that can get you cards late in the game, but also shuffle things back into your deck. One Skyla to get that level ball or computer search or whatever you need. Three of Violites to give Rayquaza and Raikou and Zekrom some longevity. And one cool thing with Eviolite, it actually, I know I'm saying it both ways, but I mean, that's just because, I mean, some of you will pronounce it Eviolite, some of you will pronounce it Eviolite. This way, you guys will only be half mad at me, and ha other half of the time, I'll be saying it the way you like. Like it. Um, one cool thing about Zekrom and that tool card is Bolt Strike actually, because it does 40 damage to itself, um, this tool card actually decreases the damage done to Zekrom, which is kind of cool. Um, and then two Floatstone for the two Keldeo, and also you can slap one on Electric. And then four Fire Energy, you could run three because we're only running three Rayquaza EX, but I don't know, I kind of like running four just because it's a little more consistent. And then seven electric energy because of Dynamotor and Raikou and Rayquaza and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that is the deck. I'm done rambling. Let's just go ahead and see it in action. Alrighty, we have found one against uh, Dew Plus and uh, with a, uh, what is that, a steel? Or I guess metal, sorry. It's not steel, it's metal in the TCG and a grass deck. And guys, I apologize. I know that some of the legacy matches will not be against top tier decks but honestly you kind of take what you can get in the legacy format because not all of your opponents have access to the kind of top tier decks that i'm trying to run and show you i mean obviously i'll show you some gimmick but budget decks but more often than not well 90 percent of the time legacy is a lot more expensive so it's harder to get good matches against players and okay my opponent is running Okay, a Scyther and an Aaron. Okay, so this looks to be a very non-standard deck. And so, I mean, we'll just play it out, see what my opponent can do. Oh, wait, is this that, uh, is this that Agron deck or something that makes you return a shuffle of cards into your deck or something like that? But I don't know. Either way, okay, my opponent plays an Aaron down. I'm just going to go ahead and play the Lightning and the Eviolite right there, or, or a Violite, and then go for a Professor Oak's new theory. And then, okay, yeah, well, I guess I can't can't play the level ball onto the bench but I can play it down but this actually kind of works because what I can do is go ahead and play down two Tynamo and a Rayquaza and then well I unfortunately only have a I only have a level ball in the discard pile instead of a junk arm I mean this is where having like a random receiver instead of the junk arm would be nice but I mean like I'm in that was actually a really nice first turn because what I can do is just go ahead and play another energy on to my Zekrom. I draw the Super Rod. I kind of want to draw that later. But yeah, just going to go for the Outrage for 20. And I mean, we have to manually attach, and that's the problem with this deck. It's kind of clunky just because, I mean, you have to rely so heavily on evolutions, like I said. And okay, this is. Oh, this isn't the Agron that makes you shuffle stuff back into your deck. So I mean, that's, that's good to know at least. And my opponent is going to go for the Professor Oak's new theory as well. Get some more cards, get another. So it's like a. Scizor Scyther what I don't even know what my opponent's running but either way he's gonna hit me for a decent amount of damage this turn I mean I won't be able to knock him out with outrage but I'll probably have to manually attach probably have to manually attach the energy onto my onto my Tynamo and oh man this is where I kind of wish I had a lightning that way I could play it onto it and get another junk arm alrighty um well, I'm just going to go ahead and play the Fire Energy onto the Zekrom and go from there. Something, if I had the Lightning in my hand, something cool that I could have done was attach it to the... Actually, no, wait, that wouldn't have worked. Never mind. Something not that cool, but my opponent will be able to take a knockout this turn. However, I do have the Bolt Strike ready to go that should be able to knock out this Agron next turn. I mean, thanks to that 20 damage and oh, there's the end. 
But what I think I'm just going to go ahead and do is junk arm, get rid of one junk arm and a super rod probably. Well, I mean, obviously a super rod to grab the level ball or the EVO light. Um, yeah, I'm just going to grab a level ball to get um, either another Tynamo or an electric probably. Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab another Tynamo because I mean, I have the four electrics still in the deck. So it's more likely that I'll draw that and I might as well have the other Tynamo ready to go. And oh, that is beautiful. Because what I can even do is go ahead and play the Keldeo down, go ahead and Ultra Ball, get rid of probably, eh, you know what, a Lightning and an N. I mean, I would get rid of both Lightning, but I mean, then that's just setting me up for failure next turn. Play it on to the Tynamo, go ahead and Dynamotor onto my Rayquaza. And I mean, also because I don't have another Electric, I might as well keep the uh one lightning in my hand that way i can manually attach for this turn go for the bolt strike knock out the agron and actually put my zekrom in a position where it can start knocking stuff out with outrage as opposed to uh bolt strike and so it doesn't have to keep damaging itself because without an eviolite one more bolt strike hit to myself will knock me out and that's something that i kind of want to avoid i mean my opponent will be able to go into Scyther this turn it looks like if he has the scissor and another if he has the scissor prime and another metal energy then he will be able to knock me out with metal scissors scissors not metal scissors <laughs> that's funny but okay so he just silenced does he have the scissor prime in his hand I guess okay I guess not I can just attach it to the scissor or the scyther on the bench and go from there and oh booyah that was go that was gorgeous what I can do is just go ahead and attach that fire energy and juniper that was amazing. What I, oh, that's even better. <laughs> that is awesome. So what I can do, go ahead and level ball, grab another electric, uh, put that onto my Tynamo. Admittedly, don't have a, um, what do I not have? I don't have another lightning in the discard pile, but at this point I can actually slap the Eviolite onto my Zekrom and then knock this Scyther out with an outrage because I will be hitting for 120 exact same as Bolt Strike, but without the drawback of... I mean, without the drawback of doing damage to myself. So I could have played the Eviolite onto the Rayquaza, but I figure, well, might as well just make my opponent try to do more damage and goes for a Black Belt. What does that do? Uh, you may use this card if you, during your, oh, okay. So he had to use the Black Belt actually to knock me out. And okay, so looks like Scyther can't be damaged this turn. But I don't think that's a problem because what I... Ooh, I can actually Raikou. Awesome. And then go ahead and Ultra Ball. Get rid of the Mr. Mime. I'm not going to need it in this match. And the Oak's New Theory to grab... Um, yeah, grab one more Tynamo. That way I can just get 180 powered uh, Dragon Burst each turn. Play that down. Go for the Reversal Might as well. Oh, we even get the air on, so I don't have to worry about the... So I don't have to worry about my opponent, uh, well, I guess, catching around that or trying to power up my Raikou in one hit. And uh, I'm, I receivered, but I really didn't need to. I mean, I just wanted to for the heck of it. And ooh, oh, I get in. Okay, so all my lightning is either prized or in the discard pile. That's good to know. But actually, what I can do is go ahead and Dynamotor twice onto my Raikou. Ooh, this is actually kind of cheeky because because I reversaled in the Aeron, my the effect on my opponent's Scyther is now gone. And what I can do is double Dynamotor onto the Raikou and then attach the fire energy to it. That way I'm only discarding two lightning this turn as opposed to three lightning that would normally be on the Raikou. So actually that fire energy is coming in handy more than just on the Rayquaza. So I'm going to go ahead and Volt Bolt, knock out that Scyther on the bench discarding both of my lightning but that's not a big deal because i'm about to have three electric going and then i also have a requaza pretty much powered up in the background and i even get another requaza so in the very very off chance that my opponent manages to knock out my raikou this turn i mean i i have basically everything i need and he okay just goes for the metal and the rocky helmet and all right my opponent goes for iron head i mean it's doesn't really matter it's over at this point so what I'm just going to go ahead and do is rush in, go ahead and I think, yeah, you know what, might as well just show my opponent what he's dealing with. Retreat, go into the Rayquaza. I could have put more energy onto it, but then just Dragon Burst, 
go ahead and get rid of the lightning to knock out this Aeron and take the match. So, I mean, that, that wasn't the most competitive, so I apologize for that. But, I mean, you unfortunately have to take what you can get with Legacy because there aren't a lot of players in there. So, we do win that one. The, I was able to show you pretty much exactly what this deck is supposed to do. And I'm going to go ahead and try to find another one that is hopefully a lot more competitive and a better match for you guys. Alrighty, we have found another one against a Goku Venezolano with a Psychic deck. So, I mean, that has promise because Sigilith is Psychic, Mewtwo EX is Psychic. So, there are plenty of Psychic options that could potentially make this a pretty cool match. And Garbodor is Psychic as well, so that's something we have to watch out for. Although, Garbodor and Sigilith in a deck would kind of be counterproductive. We do win the coin flip and, wow, actually start with a... You know what? That's a pretty solid hand. I'm not going to play the Mr. Mime down just because I don't want to um, I don't want to play it if I don't need to because I would like that spot to go to maybe another Electric or a Keldeo or a Quasar or something. But it looks like my opponent's running a Gardevoir or Gallade deck, which unfortunately doesn't look to be super competitive. So I apologize, but then again, I'm probably just judging a book by its cover and we'll see. Oh, my opponent has a sig Sigilith. That is perfect. What I can go ahead and do, play the level ball to grab another Tynamo. One electric is prized. That is good to know. Uh, play that down there. Going to go ahead and Eviolite up the Zekrom. Go ahead and random receiver, see what I can get. while well, I get an N. Um, do I want to play the Floatstone down? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and... Do I want to... Yeah. Go ahead and play the Floatstone down just because... I mean, I... I just kind of want to make sure that I draw better cards. And I have another Floatstone available, and oh boy. Well, I mean, that's something. Well, I can play another... I can play another Tynamo down. Um, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I think I'm just... Oh, wait, oops. <laughs> I forgot to manually attach for the turn. Well, that was just a bonehead move on my part. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me too much. And okay, my opponent's playing a Sharon. I mean, that's... That's not a great card, especially when there are so much more viable cards. Oh, we see Sharon and Great Ball, so I apologize. Oh, wait. So this is Mewtwo. So even though... So we see Sigilyph and Mewtwo. The two exact things that I said were Psychic. And with an Experience Share. So, I mean, Great Ball is not good. It's not very competitive. But if my opponent happens to get lucky on what cards he can get with Great Ball, then it can be a problem. I mean, he's... Currently got two things that are kind of a problem for this deck in the Mewtwo and the Sigilyph. Okay, so what I can do is actually discard every single card from my hand this turn to go ahead and end. Yeah, let's go ahead and Junk Arm for a level ball. Go ahead and play that down to get an electric. Yeah, let's go ahead and play that down and then I'll just computer search for a Juniper. I mean, I hate to get rid of so many resources, including my Super Rod and a fire energy but i mean at this point you just kind of got to go with it so let's go ahead and computer search where's a juniper there you are go ahead and grab that and then just juniper for seven seven fresh cards see if there's something i can work with and okay i can kind of work with this let's go ahead and ultra ball get rid of the raikou and the do i want to get rid of the reversal yeah i don't really need it oh wait can i yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the Keldeo. Unfortunately, I will not be able to attack this turn. Well, I mean, I can technically Outrage. Go ahead and play the Floatstone onto Keldeo. Rush in. And then might as well go ahead and get one Lightning Energy onto it. That way I can rack up damage a little bit with Outrage. I mean, I doubt it'll come into play much at all. Go ahead and Energy Surge to grab another Lightning Energy just so I can have that. For next turn that way i can attach the fire if i need to or just dynamotor the lightning onto it again and you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and retreat into you know what my zekrom if it gets damaged by the if it's damaged by the sigilith then it will be able to be knocked out by the mewtwo uh in one shot with an X ball with a DCE. So I can't afford to do that. And also because I'll be putting 20 damage on myself with the um, with the Bolt Strike anyway. So I'm going to force my opponent to have, an, well, two energy at least, because I mean, he does have the experience share on the Mewtwo, to be able to knock out my 
Zekrom, and hopefully I can get something else set up by then. I mean, once again, I've kind of reached a clunky stage with this deck where you just don't draw a supporter or something like that, but, well, I mean, there's a supporter. Um, what I can go ahead and do is actually go ahead and Dynamotor, put the Lightning onto the Zekrom, and, you know, as I was saying that it was clunky, I go ahead and top deck an Oak's New Theory, so that's just fine. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, deck, but wow, that is beautiful. What I can just do is go ahead, play down a Rayquaza with a Fire, and a, well, play down another Electric, and then go ahead and do I want to slap the Eviolite Light on it? I don't know, just in case my opponent has a random Tool Scrapper, I want to keep the Eviolite Light because that will, I mean, help reduce damage against me. And there, go ahead and knock out the Sigilith. That's exactly what Zekrom is in this deck for, is knocking out that stupid Sigilith. Take a prize. Um, well, another Rayquaza, so... Eh, you know what? We're not in a bad spot. If I need to, I can go ahead and try to reversal in that Ralts to take another prize because I'm at an odd number of prizes right now. But right here, my opponent is forced to have another... Well, he just has a DC. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and eat my words right here. He will be able to X-Ball me for the knockout. I do need to draw a Lightning Energy or a Tynamo or something to be able to knock out this Mewtwo this turn. Um... Maybe light does not help. Well, actually what I can do is... So I can take a knockout on the Curlia because I will be able to one-shot the Mewtwo regardless. But yeah, let's just go ahead and Pokemon Collector. Might as well just get rid of that. Grab another Rayquaza for the heck of it. I mean, this is this way if my opponent happens to end, I mean, I will be in a fine position. But yeah, let's just go ahead and Dynamotor onto the Rayquaza on the bench. Um, unfortunately... Curlia has more than 60 HP, so I can't just, like, disc... Well, I mean, I'd have to discard the Fire Energy anyway, or both of the Lightning. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and play the Rayquaza down there. Go ahead and retreat into this Rayquaza. Take a hit. That way, I can Dynamotor next turn. Just let the Rayquaza that has the EVO Light on it and no energy take the damage. My opponent will have to have a Reversal, and if he has... I think if he has, so that'll be, right now he has 7, 8, 9. So even if he has a DCE and a reversal, he will not be able to knock out my Rayquaza that's on the bench. So that's, that's pretty nice. And at this point, he'll only be doing 60 to my active Rayquaza. So, I mean, I'm still in a good position, but I mean, this is a problem with this deck. It can get pretty clunky. And I mean, if you don't draw the right card when you need it, you're just going to have to have things that take hits, and that's another reason why I put EVO Light in there as opposed to something else. And my opponent just slaps the EXP share onto the Gallade on the bench. Huh. And then hits for 60. That is just fine with me. Well, there's the Lightning Energy. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and slap that onto the... Do I want to slap that onto the Rayquaza on the bench? Um, no, I'll need to go for three Lightnings. So, let's go ahead and Dynamotor once onto this Rayquaza and then I will go ahead and rush in and retreat into it because I'll take the knockout on the Mewtwo but then I will also be able to have and you know I'm going to keep the lightning energy in my hand that way I can go ahead and put three energy onto this Rayquaza again even if I don't draw the electric so I will just take the knockout on the Mewtwo, keep the lightning in my hand. If I had played it, I would have had to discard it, and that wouldn't have done anything. And okay, I just go ahead and get a level ball that will be able to get me another electric, so that is absolutely phenomenal. I can even potentially reversal in the Mewtwo to take, another, to take a knockout on it. But, I mean, once again, we are fully set up with this deck, and that is phenomenal to see. Um, my opponent does play the EXP share onto his Mewtwo. And he's going to be able to powerful, powerful Storm for a whopping 60 damage. But, I mean, that's not going to be doing much anyway. Let's just go ahead and level ball for another Electric. And, yeah, I don't have the Fire Energy onto the Rayquaza on the bench. That is why I held off. Go ahead and go for the Reversal. See if we can get it. We do not. That's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Because I'll still be able to take a prize this turn. Go ahead and <laughs> triple Dynamotor. That is absolutely awesome to be able to do. And I even have a couple uh, lightning energy in hand just in case my opponent tool scrappers away the EXP share on Mewtwo and 
plays like an Eviolite or something like that. That way I have four energy to put on the Rayquaza to knock out the Mewtwo next turn. But yeah, I'm just going to play that energy onto the Rayquaza because, I mean, I have two in my hand. So I have one to kind of play with. Go ahead and put that onto that Rayquaza to show my opponent that I kind of have a backup attacker ready to go in case he manages to do something. But yeah, go ahead and knock out that Gallade. My opponent will be able to... How much will he be able to hit me for? So if he has... If he has a DCE, he will actually not be able to knock me out because that'll only be six energy. And once again, the Eviolite or Eviolite is coming through clutch for Rayquaza, keeping it alive. And then I can just rush treat with Keldeo, throw three more lightning onto that Rayquaza and take home the game. So draw my last prize, see what it is. It's an N. Well, that's an inconvenient time to draw an N. Either way, my opponent's going to go into his Mewtwo. Uh, we are just fine. I mean, I don't think... Yeah, I mean, I think we win regardless. Um, yeah, my opponent just X-Balls. That's not going to be a knockout. I will be at 160 damage. But again, Eviolite coming through clutch. Go ahead and rush in with my Keldeo. Triple Dynamotor onto my Rayquaza on the bench. Play that Lightning just for the heck of it. Because, I mean, there's no kill like Overkill, right? Uh, go ahead and Dynamotor once. Go ahead and Dynamotor twice. And then I'm going to Dynamotor the third time, retreat my Keldeo, go back into the Rayquaza, discard all four Lightning Energy with the Dragon Burst to do 240 damage and one-shot this Mewtwo with five Energy on it and take the game, but my opponent doesn't let me do that. Oh well, I mean, it's fine. We still won anyway, and I got to show off exactly how this deck is supposed to work, how it's supposed to get set up. I mean, both games illustrated perfectly how this deck is supposed to work. I apologize that they weren't against super top tier decks. Actually, they weren't against top tier decks at all. But I mean, with Legacy, unfortunately, you have to take what you can get. And I've been trying to record for a little while uh, in order to get good matches. And so I apologize. But I mean, I still showed off the deck and what it can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.